to put a different question to you. Roe versus Wade has been the law of the land since 1973. Now that there is a conservative majority on the Supreme Court, several Republican-controlled states have passed laws to severely restrict or even ban abortion. One of those laws could very well make it to the Supreme Court during your presidency, if you're elected president. What is your plan if Roe is struck down in the court while you're president? Well, my plan is somebody who believes, for a start, that a woman's right to control her own body is a constitutional right that government and politicians should not infringe on that right. We will do everything we can to defend our Roe versus Wade. Second of all, let me make let me make let me make a promise here. You ask about litmus test. My litmus test is I will never appoint any nominate any justice to the Supreme Court unless that justice is 100 percent clear he or she will defend Roe v. Wade. Third of all, I do not believe in packing the court. We got a terrible 5-4 majority conservative court right now. But I do believe that constitutionally we have the power to rotate judges to other courts. And that brings in new blood into the Supreme Court and a majority, I hope, that will understand that a woman has the right to control her own body and the corporations cannot run uh, the Senator, United I'm States. Gonna of America. Right. Hold on. I'm going to give you 10 additional seconds because the question is what if the court has already overturned Roe and Roe is gone? All of the things you just described would be to try to preserve Roe. If Roe is gone, what could you do as president we to preserve pass, abortion rights? Well, first of all, let me tell you this. Didn't come up here, but let's face this Medicare for all guarantees every woman in this country the right to have an abortion if she wants it. Thank you, Senator. And can I just address this for a second? And I, and I want to talk directly, directly to America's women and to the men who love them. Women's reproductive rights are under assault by T President Trump and the Republican Party. 30 states are trying to overturn Roe v. Wade right now. And it is mind-boggling to me that we are debating this on this stage in 2019 among Democrats whether women should have access to reproductive rights. I think we have to stop paying defense and start playing offense. But let me tell you 